Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your support. Thank you to everybody that has donated and thank you to all of the clients that have purchased a private reading from me. Uh, I want to wish you all a happy 2017. Uh, I, I want to thank you also for bearing with me while I've been trying to get the January monthlies out and also the 2017 yearly tarot forecast. Unfortunately, I had to miss a couple of the weekly forecast uh, in order to get those readings out. Um, I just want to wish you all uh, a happy 2017. And again, thank you for your support. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for your patience. And um, if you are looking for additional guidance aside from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day to Facebook and also Instagram. So if you're looking for extra guidance, please head over to Facebook or Instagram and follow me there. And of course, if you are interested in a private reading, please head over to northeasttarot.com and read about how I offer my private readings. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Virgo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of January 9th through the 15th. This is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising Signs. Virgo. So at the bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles, for some of you, this can be your energy. Maybe you're moving forward cautiously. The Knight of Pentacles is a forward-moving energy, but he's a slower-paced forward-moving energy. So for some of you, this is you maybe being very cautious, maybe planning out the steps before taking them. This is you paying attention to the details, um, but also for some of you, maybe being very cautious. And then for other Virgos, the Knight of Pentacles can represent maybe some news or an offer that is coming through. So for some of you, you could be receiving maybe some sort of offer or opportunity to maybe even make more money or something like that this week, Virgo. Now, you have a very interesting spread, and I think I've said this for all of the signs so far. Uh, for this particular uh, week's forecast, the energies, honestly, are very, very interesting. Uh, the overall energy for you, Virgo, for the week is the Ace of Wands. So maybe this Knight of Pentacles is an offer that is coming through for some of you. And with the Ace of Wands, this is an exciting new beginning. With the Ace of Wands, this can be a creative uh, project or an endeavor. This can also be uh, an offer for maybe a new job. With the Ace of Wands, it's something that's really exciting, and it can be something that you're very passionate about. For me, the Ace of Wands is the most passionate card within the entire deck. So for some of you, especially those coupled Virgos, this could be a very passionate week for you and your partner. Uh, let's see here. Now, we are starting out with the Devil. We have the Devil. And the devil um, can also represent that passion, that lust, even seduction. So for some Virgos, um, maybe this Ace of Wands is a relationship. Maybe some of you are actually meeting uh, another Earth sign individual. Uh, maybe another Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. The devil does represent the sign of Capricorn. So for some of you, you could be in a relationship with a Capricorn. But the devil, um, which is very interesting how it's sitting diagonal from temperance, the cap, I mean, excuse me, the devil represents all things in excess, and then temperance is the opposite. This is all things in moderation, patience, and then the devil is all things in excess. So um, for some of you, maybe there's a need to let go of someone or something that is no longer serving you. With the devil, this can be a restrictive sort of energy, feeling bound, feeling trapped, or feeling stuck within a situation. So I'm um, really getting this, this energy here where there could be some Virgos that maybe you're attached with the devil. You might be waiting on, let's say, a divorce to be final. 
because there's this element of waiting with the seven of pentacles here and i do think that you're reassessing maybe a situation here with temperance this is a patient energy and for some of you i feel like you're waiting on being free there's some sort of um maybe difficult situation that some virgos are in some of you i definitely think this is relationship related i think that for some of you Maybe you were in a relationship, whether married or not, you could have been living with the person. For some of you, maybe you're still living with that person. Maybe for some of you, you're still married and maybe you met someone else. With the Seven of Pentacles, I think that you're working very hard to maybe be able to free yourself from a situation or even a job for some of you. Something that's no longer serving you. I think that you're waiting and you're working very hard to be able to set yourself free but for some of you this is you having to wait with temperance it very well can be things happening on divine time and when divine timing is at play it's a bit of a process for some of you though you're emotionally maybe moving forward you're emotionally maybe moving away from maybe a toxic relationship or maybe uh, an addiction or something that was no longer serving you uh, you're emotionally moving forward, emotionally you're healing with the Eight of Cups and Temperance here. This is you actually moving towards being more balanced um, versus uh, maybe where you have been. For some of you, I feel like you were in maybe an unhealthy relationship or this was just maybe like a toxic environment. And now you're actually, for some of you, maybe you're still... Um, bound in some way you're still tied to this person or this situation you're waiting to break free but for some of you you're at least able to emotionally move forward and emotionally uh, you are healing you are moving towards being balanced um, for some of you though uh, with the five of, of wands here the Five of Wands can be anything from competition around you to butting heads with someone, petty arguments. To, this can also be even internal struggles. And I think that for some of you, you're definitely maybe struggling internally when it comes to this situation. Because I think that for some of you, you just want to be free. Uh, you want to maybe leave something behind that just wasn't serving you. With the Five of Wands... Um, and the Three of Swords here, for some of you, this is definitely mental exhaustion. This is definitely uh, internal struggles that you're dealing with. But because we have Temperance here, which is a major arcana, you are healing. You are healing, Virgo, and you are overcoming this. And there is movement. You are moving away from this energy with the Eight of Cups here. You are actually moving towards healing and being more balanced, especially emotionally. Now, because we have the Three of Swords sitting next to the Two of Cups, uh, I, I definitely think that for some of you, you're still attached. You've met someone else with the Three of Swords. This is a sticky situation. This is a difficult situation involving maybe three people. Uh, for some of you, if there is... If there isn't a situation dealing with three people, uh, there could be some Virgos um, that are maybe having some difficulties within a relationship because we have the Five of Wands sitting next to the Ten of Cups. So this could be a married couple. Um, and the Five of Wands is diagonal with the Two of Cups here. And then we have that Three of Swords here as well. So for some Virgos, and this is maybe just a small number of you, uh, I definitely see you having some difficulties within a relationship. And honestly, this could be a very unhealthy relationship for some of you. Now... Obviously, this isn't for all of you, and this is why I always recommend watching your sun, moon, and rising signs. Uh, this is just a general reading, and 
um, some of you might not be able to relate. So you have to watch your other signs. And if you don't know what your other signs are, I always list in the description bar a website that is free. It can calculate that information for you. So head over there so you can find out what your other signs are. With the Ten of Cups here, this is family. This is a marriage. This is family. This is what you want. And I do believe uh, this is what you're moving towards. This is what you're moving towards, but for some of you, you need to listen to your intuition. For some of you, I feel this sort of torn energy where you don't know what to do. Maybe there are children involved. Uh, this is your family. So for some of you, you might have met someone else and you don't want to maybe get divorced or you don't want to leave your family behind. I definitely see some Virgos in a, in a sticky sort of situation. And then other Virgos, um, if you are in a relationship and there's maybe been some cheating or there's there's just constant fighting there's just you know battles uh you need to you need to free yourself you need to unchain yourself from this unhealthy relationship um and with the five of wands don't add fuel to any fires for those partnered virgos that maybe maybe things have been going fine maybe things are, are are just um you know fine between you and your partner with the five of wands here if you guys are arguing over something insignificant this week watch your words with the three of swords here maybe you guys get into a little fight and that little fight can escalate with the three of swords here um, one of you just might say I'm done and walk away so you know watch your words this is why we have tarot readings uh so we can see what's coming up for us and we can make changes. This is minor arcana energy. So for some of you, you might not even be able to resonate with this uh, energy here. And then for others, you need to watch your tone, um, watch uh, maybe your words. If your partner is irritated or if your partner is going through some, some difficulties, maybe just being there for them. Um, just giving your partner that support that they need at this time now for some of you maybe you're partnered with a capricorn for others it could be maybe another uh, virgo or taurus or even a sagittarius because temperance represents the sign of sagittarius so for some of you you're maybe with uh, another earth sign or even a sagittarius um, but other than that, um, with the Ace of Wands as the overall energy for those partnered Virgos that, again, you know, everything is fine. It could be a very passionate week for you. Uh, you actually could even be working on your relationship if there was difficulties previously. Um, but then there are some other Virgos that I am getting this, this unhealthy relationship. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. It's time to cut yourself free. And with the Seven of Pentacles, some of you are planting seeds for, for tomorrow. The Seven of Pentacles represents you investing in your future. So some of you are actually moving forward. You're planting seeds for tomorrow. So maybe you're getting yourself out of this situation um, with temperance. It, it's just maybe a bit of a process also with that knight of pentacles it's taking some time but you are doing this and with the ace of wands this also could be you actually having some sort of sort of amazing idea that can help you maybe with this situation and for some other virgos this is you maybe uh, getting creative when it comes to be being able to free yourself from maybe a toxic relationship or situation now i just had archangel michael flip out for you this is beautiful i am with you giving you the courage that you giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose um and i almost said i am with you giving you the courage that you need so um for some virgos again it's like you need that confidence, that courage to move forward. Um, but we, you have Archangel Michael with you this week. So this is wonderful. With temperance, you know, this is that divine energy. This is your angels, your guides with you, working with you, bringing in that healing. And now to have Archangel Michael come out, this is wonderful. 
So no matter how you're relating to these energies, Virgo, uh, you have this beautiful archangel that's working with you. Um, bringing in, you know, that helping you with your courage and your confidence uh, to move forward and to make these necessary life changes. Uh, financially, I don't see it being a bad week. As a matter of fact, there could be some Virgos that are receiving some sort of financial opportunity here. Uh, emotionally, I don't see it being a bad week. I see a lot of healing energy around you. And I think that for many Virgos, you're ready to move forward in some way. Uh, you're looking to the future. Uh, it's just some other Virgos that you need to watch your communication and don't let um, fears or any sort of like internal struggles that you're dealing with hold you back which I don't think that you're going to now that we have Archangel Michael here with you so Fargo I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I wish you a wonderful week take care